and Penn State's on a roll now. As we move ahead to 165 pounds, it's the red shirt freshman, familiar last name. That'll be Joe Lee. It's uh, Nick earlier. Now Joe is off to a blistering start, already ranked six in the country. Beautiful slide by there in on the leg, taking on Patrick Spray of Wisconsin. This is another one of those weight classes where Wisconsin's rotated several wrestlers. Josh Otto was in to start the season, the uh, wrestler from Arrowhead High School in Wisconsin. And then it is Spray today who gets the call, also an in-state product from Wisconsin Rapids High School. At one point had the uh, national record, did Rapids for most consecutive titles back in the 90s and early 2000s. Legendary program in North Central Wisconsin with the Bennett's family and they've put out many of Division I prospects over there. Here's the latest here, Patrick Spray. Spray did get a win in the extra match last week against Purdue, took out Davis of uh, Purdue 12-0. So just one match, again, doesn't count for team score, but does count for your individual record. But it is Joe Lee, the freshman, putting on a little takedown click. There's a nice shot though by Spray, but look at those strong hips, shoelaces down on the mat. Using the strongest part of your body, those hips, to cripple your opponent, trying to buckle him from sucking that leg in and now look at this lee's trying to turn it into offense i give spray credit though he's still on that leg see lee dropping down to a whizzer this may result in a stalemate here though i'm not sure either guy can score well i should take that back oh spray's gonna wish he'd had, had that one back tried to step over the hips i boy i think he had a he had a good plan there if it stays on that leg but rolling the dice and that's what happens you're gonna pay the price when you're wrestling the sixth ranked wrestler in the country and you, you gamble like that and roll through, you're gonna catch you most, more often than not. And that resulted in a takedown and near fall. Huge swing there because Spray looked like he was advancing on that leg. Maybe working towards a takedown. At worst, it probably would have been a stalemate. And that's a big shift here as Spray goes down 10 and now from what was just a four point match score 30 seconds ago. Now still to come, pretty good one. Two ranked wrestlers at 174 pounds. Two ranked wrestlers at 184 pounds. And then Trent Hilger, of course, ranked for the Badgers. So three of the last four matches have uh, ranked wrestlers competing and two of them are rank on rank, including probably our featured match of the night, Chris Weiler and Aaron Brooks two top 10 ranked wrestlers currently. That one's gonna be a lot of fun. At 184 pounds, Weiler has been on a tear as of late, and Brooks just always solid for Penn State. Big period for Lee, and it all really came when Spray, who was looked like maybe gonna get a takedown, kinda rolled the dice, tried to like roll through, and Lee caught him on his back for a two point takedown and four near fall. We're neutral to start period number two. Lee with a couple of quick wins to start his redshirt freshman season. Both winning last week in that uh, tri-duel with uh, Indiana and Northwestern down in Evanston. Well, you hope that uh, Penn State-Michigan match gets to be rescheduled. At some point, otherwise the Nittany Lions next match, that's a pretty good one too. It'll be the Iowa Hawkeyes in Happy Valley on the Big Ten Network on February 12th. What a Friday night that would be. Do a double dip, because I believe the that's the early one, and I think Wisconsin and Minnesota was potentially a late one, so you could get the border battle, Badgers and Gophers, and uh, Nittany Lions and Iowa. But first things first, we got Wisconsin and Penn State today. 
potentially dangerous there on the uh, shot attempt. Under a minute to go in this second period. This one's been even. Sprays looked a lot better in this period. Fifteen seconds to go, second period. Joe Lee with that big first period, 12 points in period number one. And he will take that uh, double-digit lead into the third period. Spray on top, got the leg in. Lee trying to pass that arm. Now Spray's doing a nice job on top. Unfortunately, when you're down big, not really going to do much other than if you can get something here. Well, it looks like for a moment may have got some... Uh, Exposure. And you can see why Spray elected top here. Very competent from that leg riding position. Now he's got lead down on the mat. Leg in, power half. Boy, you take away that first period. This is an even match. And really it was 6-2 and Spray was trying to finish that single leg when he got maybe a bit greedy and tried to kind of arch through when he got put to his back. You have to wonder where this match would be going as there's a second stalling call, 12-3. So you're going to take away a moral victory if you're Patrick Spray saying you won two of the three periods. Unfortunately, he gave up a big number in that first period and Lee is Put a, put a number up early. It's like a golfer who goes out in the morning and puts up a big number. And Lee certainly did that in the first period. Impressive leg riding from Pat Spray, but this is going to be a 12-3 win for Lee of Penn State, adding to the Nittany Lions lead.